you know, the modern game is pretty fun, and so is Twitter's single wall of the old competitiveness. But that's not really how a lot of people experience the game, is it? Now, for me, nothing beats the chaotic excitement of the playground of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where the panelists is where your friends are like, and the decks are all barely functioning, Jane. Here on this show, that's what we're trying to recreate. I'm Heartlight Jelly, each episode, me and FBT will open 75 packs. One from each core set, for each of those packs, we'll get just one card to keep. And with those, we'll build our decks and face off the best of three with dire consequences. The loser of each episode will demand one card of their choice, and claim a few bonus packs for the next two. The winner will get a shiny chaos board. Nearly useless on its own, but the first duelist to ten points wins the entire series. Each episode will get more packs, slowly glowing reflections to be all from random cake Yu-Gi-Oh! to more modern strategies and combos. And there may be a few bonus surprises along the way. Ah, this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos Draft, Season 2. And welcome back to the Chaos Draft, episode 5, where the intro is just going to get faster. It's just going to keep speeding up. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe. Joining me as always, the Baezelmon of Yugi Tube, Mr. MBT Yu-Gi-Oh. What the fuck did you just call me? <laughs> the the what? Baezelmon? Is that a Digimon? That's a, that's a, that, that, that's a, that's a uh, Wheel of Time reference. Oh, I mean, I'm no. really excited about the new Wheel of Time show coming out. In a couple months, people will get that. Or maybe people who read the books will get it. I thought that it was a slur and that I was going to have to, like, <laughs> call the ACLU on you. Uh, though, no, to be fair, quite. you would not be outside of your rights to call me a slur after what happened in the last <laughs> episode. My God. I, <laughs> I'm more interested in calling Samurai Destroyer a slur. <laughs> uh, but he has been destroyed. Oh, yeah, I guess we should mention that. Oh, yeah. I've been... I posted about it on Twitter, I posted it on my Discord, but I have banned the fuck out of uh, Samurai Destroyer. In fact, Winkrer, go ahead and put up all the bans on the list, just so people know where we're at, because I've had a lot of people confused now that the ban list is growing pretty quickly. I would say probably but... once an episode I get people being like, you know, he really should be playing Redoer, and I get to tell them, you know, <laughs> I really should. I really should. <laughs> I, I don't know how you missed that one. It was in the first episode, but I Fake guess some fans. people just join on halfway through. It's like the people who show up and they're like, why is the speed of the intro so fast? I just don't understand. <laughs> I don't know, buddy. Why aren't we playing constructed decks? Why am I losing at all? You got to get with the program at some point. Doesn't he know this deck isn't meta? Mm. He's never going to win a YCS at this rate. I, I, I gotta disagree. I think that your deck is edging ever closer to something that could actually win a YCS. We'll see if it can win against the triple Raigeki <laughs> special momentarily. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, way to spoil the duel zone. We're not even in it yet. <laughs> uh, whoops. Uh, I mean, uh, Raigeki in we a cosmic sense. Yeah, I mean, that that's we totally record these in the order that you're seeing them. Mm -hmm. There's no editing magic whatsoever. In fact, when, when, when MBT does his little finger guns, he's actually shooting lasers. And I think I, 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 I reattach my hair so I can do the pulls for this one, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> it, it was extensions the entire time, everybody. But yeah, yeah, enough talk. Let's hop into the duel zone, and you can see what stuff we pulled. Beep, 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 All right, here we are, episode five, going back with Legend of Blue Eyes. Let's flip those cards, see what we get. Doesn't look like much of anything. I'm going to take the Flower Wolf, because it's an instant fusion target, but... Because I have two Chaos Coins, I get every episode, I get to redo two packs. And because this pack has Skull Servant in it, along with some other staples, I'm going to use one of them to redo my Legend of Blue Eyes and see if I can get something else. ha -cha! No. No. But I, I still got an Instant Fusion target, so it's alright. What? <laughs> Hell, I'm personally pretty shocked that we picked up that last week of Chaos Draft, but when you're the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh! player in the history of time, these things just come naturally to you. So I was not expecting to walk with that one, but uh, Samurai Destroyer really did be Samurai Destroying. Unfortunately, he will now have to Samurai Destroy in the clouds above because the fascist hardleg gaming has banned him forever. This is literally 1969 George Orwin Animal Farm. <sighs> I guess that I will have to figure out something else to play. But the good news is we've got a lot of stuff in our pool that we can tinker with. We've got the bones of a white deck. We have some really sick payoffs for, for paleos and frogs. And of course, we've got Gofu. So today what we're looking for is link bosses for our Gofu game plan. And those shouldn't be difficult to find. Paleozoics and frogs to facilitate a totally awesome setup. 
Eh, kind of, uh, kind of hit or miss on whites because I don't think they're actually very powerful. And finally, I'm still looking to pick up some Gokis. I think that they're just generally pretty available. So like always, we're going to start with the old packs and see what we can find in Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Let's go. Wow, and another just killer Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon pack. I, I mean, we have just we, just... we just keep pulling good ones. Uh... Final Flame. Pharaonic Guardian. Um, ooh, Terraforming. Or Metamorphosis. Uh, I don't think... We never got, like, a field spell worth playing. I think the Metamorphosis might be the call because... That's really the only way we have to get into fusion monsters. But it opens the door for a lot of fusion monsters, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Magician's Force. Ooh, Thunder of Ruler. Ooh, Tribe Infecting Virus. I am on the water stuff. Water stuff and having one that can just like blow up the field. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Enemy of Justice. Ooh. This is a hard one. So Icarus attack is crazy, of course. Um, but Macrocosmos is also crazy. And Diamond Dude is crazy. I think I'm picking the third Macrocosmos. Now we can start looking for a macro stun list. Dark Crisis. Whoa. Skill Drain. We're just all the staples all the time, baby. They want me to run this Floodgate deck. They want me to play Metaltron the 12th. Who knows? Maybe I can get... Can I get a Masterpiece? I forget if Masterpiece is even in the main sets, but if he is, we're going to have a whole lot of fun, I tell you what. No, Chad, I'm not taking the Ojama. Cybernetic Revolution! Cyber Dragon! We got a Cyber Dragon! Hell yeah! Now we got business! I'm not even sure if it's that good, but it's a fucking Cyber Dragon. I don't care that we finally got Owie. Yes, it's good. We have water. But I want that fucking Cyber Dragon. It's like a super rare. In this set, it's $14 today. Hell yeah, I'm taking that. Now that's what I'm fucking talking about, buddy. That's a little more like it. Oh, Battle Fader, after I failed to pull you in progression playoffs, you have come home to roost once more. All right, Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, can I pull a third Dragon Ruler? Let's go. Oh, that's, well, that's still pretty good. You know, it's not a dragon ruler. It's like a mini dragon ruler, but it's the water one. And I'm making the water deck and I have two other titles. So yeah, I think I'm going to go for that one. Hell yeah. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. There we go. Was this so fucking hard? Was it so fucking hard for you to send me a dragon ruler? Oh, the King of the Feralimps is crazy too, but it's gotta be, it's gotta be the Dragon Ruler. It's gotta be the Dragon Ruler. The new challengers. What new do they bring to this challenging thing? Punch in the box. <laughs> uh, anyone know anything about this set? Anyone know anything about this set? Can anyone please explain something to me about this set at all? We already have two Unizombie. And we just don't have anything to do with it. I guess I could change it any time. Yeah, let's pick the third Unizombie. I would never play Wall of Disruption over our current trap lineup. Secrets of Eternity was released in February of 2019. It contained my third Unizombie. Hell yeah, now we're in business. Dimension of Chaos. It's all the... Oh, oh my god. Holy shit. Whoa, this is like six cards I want to play. So, obviously, the Gradles are fine. Uh, the Kaijus are insane. I think it's Wicked Witch, though. Like, we're so set on fucking Cosmos. The Dark Illusion. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. I mean, this is tempting. But I think this is the best Subterror Behemoth, right? Like, I have I have the Subterror decks that I'm trying to build. and And this is, like, a really good one. It has decent attack and it just banishes stuff. I think I want to take the Uma Tricks. Yeah, we're we're 
We're taking the sub terrors. Cybernetic Horizon. Nothing. Uh, oh, that is technically a Goki. You have to tribute for it. It's Bigfoot. Maximum Crisis. Whoa. I mean, we do have a lot of level twos because of the waters. Uh, this might be good. Dino Mist Howling, if we wanted to start building Dino Mist. Uh, if your opponent controls a monster and you control no monsters, you could special summon this from the hand. Yeah, I'm not sure he can easily get over that. Yeah, I think Big Core might be the best thing because we can't collect the, the, the other ones. Uh, this is only good if we're playing Phantom Knights. Yeah, and it's a level 8, and it doesn't restrict our summoning. So we can use it with Metamorphosis to bring out Vision Hero Trinity. <laughs> Let's try it, baby. Please a link. Please any fucking link. Any link at all that's any good. I will 100% take update jammer. Rest in peace, my good friend. Ignition Assault. Wachaba. Ooh, Wind Pegasus at Ignister. This is actually a pretty good generic synchro. It's seven stars, so we can make it with Destrudo. During the main phase, destroy spell taps up to the number of Ignisters you control. So just, just one, but it's every turn we just get to destroy one spell trap. And then when it's in the graveyard, it has an effect too. So I'm going to go for the Ad Ignister. The Fire Phoenix, not so much. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It is power load ogre time motherfucker. Oh my god, we're pi oh, we're picking this. All right, and now, are you ready for the exciting, the bonus packs? Legendary Collection Kaiba. We get five packs of this reprint set. What will we get? Raikeki! 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 So there's one. We're taking we're taking that. Uh pack number two. Um ooh. Ash Blossom? Do we take the Ash Blossom? Do we dare add Ash Blossom into this event? <laughs> How much searching is MBT really going to be doing? Is that we've also got the Monarch Storm Forth, which is pretty good. Fiend Sanctuary, which is just a free token, I believe. Special summon a token. Your opponent takes any damage you would. Hmm. He has Black Whirlwind. Take the Ash. I'm taking the Ash. We officially have an Ash, ladies and gentlemen. Can I get some feet down in the comments? <laughs> Couldn't say that with a straight face. Okay. Deck number three. Um, Goddess of Sweet Revenge is very funny. Um, and you know, with nothing else here, let's take it. I'm taking Goddess of Sweet Revenge. Be very interesting. Okay, pack number four. Ooh, Loop of Destruction. Remind me what this does. Um, once per turn, if a monster on the field is destroyed by a card effect, you can target one car monster on the field, destroy it. So, if I destroy, I destroy, and it's a continuous trap. We've been collecting a shit ton of continuous traps, so I think we're gonna go for that one. We'll make it interesting. The Lord of D retrain? I mean, I don't think it's a dragon, is it? It's a spellcaster. When it's normal summon, discard one. You can add a flute of summoning dragon. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, final one. What will we get? Kaiba pack? Um, hmm. I think it's just the DD Crow. We don't have anything we could search with Melody. I don't think, unless... Are the dragon rulers searchable with Melody of Awakening Dragon? No, 3,000 or more attack. Uh, I don't think we have enough targets for that. I think it's just the DD Crow, right? Rhapsody? Dragon Revival Rhapsody? 
You control a spellcaster. You can target two dragons in your graveyard, including a normal monster, and special summon them. Yeah. I don't have any spellcasters. I am not going to make a spellcaster slash dragon deck. You could get Tiger Dragon in all its glory. You can target... Well, it's actually not that bad. Oh, and I still have to tribute summon it with a... Uh, tribute a dragon, destroy two set cards. That's actually not that bad. Have I used my redos? Yes. You can't use redos on the bonus packs. It's it's between Tiger Dragon and DD Crow. F make your decision now in the chat. Alright, looks like we're going with Crow, even though I think we already have two of them? Two of them things? Well, now we got three of them things. Now we can shut down whenever MBT builds his white deck. Okay, now we've got five more packs to go through. Last time, Joey really pulled through for us. So let's see if Kaiba can do the same. What is in this set? This is a new one, right? It's got Ash. It's got uh, Delinquent Duo. Let's get some... Uh, let me let me actually queue up the, the Invisible Tweet. Okay, ready? We're going to pull it in if we need it. Okay. Legendary Collection Kaiba. Here we go. Easy. Fucking easy. Easy. Out of the fucking starting gate, baby! So easy! How did, how did I get this good at Yu-Gi-Oh? It's just... It's, it's too fucking easy. Alright. Who's next? Oh... Raigeki. Now our first stinker. <laughs> oh my fucking god, it's Beals. It's Beals. I know that you think it's Ash Blossom, but it's the easiest Beals of my fucking life. Let me read this card to you. So recall, Hardleg had a tough time outing fucking samurai destroyer all right cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects it's beals he's just gonna dynamiscus whatever What is there to say, bud? Alright, last one. Last one, let's go. Alright, we had to have one stinker. We had to have one stinker. Uh, I think it's blue eyes. I genuinely think it's blue eyes. Yeah. You never know. It could come up. Wow. That's my offering to Kaiba for these insane pulls. All right. Well, uh, I weep for hard leg. We have to figure out something to play monster wise, but our spell traps are unfucking beatable. So good luck to the boy. And I'll see you in deck building. And that would be the end, but. I get one more pity pack. I have three pity packs, actually. They have to be from the same set. And after thinking it over, I've decided to do Battle Pack Epic Dawn. Because the one thing I noticed between me and MBT sets is that MBT has a lot more spell trap removal than I do. I am seriously down on spell trap removal. I would like to get a Heavy Storm or a Harpy's Feather Duster. And it is in this set. This has probably the best chances of getting it. It's either this or like Yugi's World, which is like those two cards and a bunch of garbage. This has some other decent cards. So three things of a battle pack epic dawn. Let's see what we get. Ooh, not too much. Skill successor. Target one monster gains 400 attack during any turn, except for it's in the graveyard. You can banish it and it gains 800 attack. So it's a battle trick, but it's two battle tricks in one card. Tyrus is also pretty good. It's a rank five. I don't think I have the fives, but if I ever get fives, I mean, I have a cyber dragon.
probably be great. What's Tribute to the Doomed? Discard a card to destroy a monster? Yeah, that's probably not worth it. I think we're going to take Tyrus. We'll take Tyrus for our first one. Okay. Number two, show me that Feather Duster. That is not a Feather Duster. We did get a Mobius the Frost Monarch and Liberty at last. When a monster is destroyed by battle, target two monsters on the field, shuffle them into the deck. Now this is a hell of a card for a draft series. Like, most likely, I mean, obviously MBT has the spell trap removal for now. I could always ban Heavy Storm if really need be. I don't think Mobius is going to be that worth. But I love the fact that, like, I set something, he destroys by battle, and then two of his cards going back into the deck but water it is water but it doesn't activate the way i want it to okay last one can i please get a heavy storm or a feather duster <laughs> no i got an obelisk the tormentor though do i do i want to take a fucking god card do i want to obelisk i mean I don't know, guys. Uh, I think King Tiger Wahoo might be better. I've made King Tiger stun before. It's a pretty neat, neat thing. <laughs> it's not a monster, it's a god. <laughs> Tiger is nice. Just any monster with 1400 or less, as soon as it's summoned, it's destroyed. Everyone in chat is going crazy for Obelisk. I'm never going to be able to summon Obelisk, though. <laughs> That's the... Uh... Guess I'm taking Obelisk the Tormentor. We'll do it. I'm not sure if I'll be able to summon it. We'll see. But I'll have it. Let's put this all together and see whatever the fuck we can make. Huh. Well, I don't think we were supposed to win that last one. We are definitely not supposed to win this one. Longtime viewers may notice this is the exact same monster lineup from last episode. I think there's like three changes. And longer time viewers may notice this is pretty much the exact same monster lineup as two episodes ago. I don't know what it is. I can't pull monsters. I can pull every spell trap in the universe, but I can't pull a frog to save my life. <sighs> All right. So realistically, we are still playing a lot of good cards. There is a chance we could take it provided how Hardleg plays. If he doesn't go for OTKs, stuff like Triple Raigeki could obviously ruin his day. Uh, but if it comes down to monster synergies, we don't have a ton of them. We are playing Chaos Cosmo Blackwing. It's a bunch of really powerful dark and light type monsters, a very small Cosmo suite still trying to get some ships, which should keep us in the game long enough to find stuff like our Blackwings, all of which are searchable off of Black Whirlwind. The flagship monster in this series is Gofu the Vague Shadow, which we can use to go into stuff like Bellcat Fighter, into Hauka Fibrax, into Synchro Lines, etc. Um, I'll just roll through the cards real quick. Protoss is kind of a floodgate, but harder to access because you need three different attributes and we're really only playing two. We can supplement this, of course, with extra deck monsters or Ash Blossom and Joy's Spring. Levineer is busted. We picked up a Bigfoot. Tefnuit is just a free summon as is Photon Thrasher. These aren't great cards, but they're lights and we're otherwise very light light. We've got a Snow. We've got a Scape Ghost. I really like Scape Ghost now that we have Bellcat Fighter because it means even if the monster is destroyed, we have a Link Play to make after it. We've got Necro Gardna in here. I just ended up feeling like... Uh, I needed a monster I could normal summon and go into a synchro or link material or put in defense position while I let my spells and traps do the heavy lifting, and Necro Gardna is both a monster that can be destroyed by an opponent's monster and one that prevents you from dying later on. We've got Ash Blossom and Joy Spring and a Seravius as well. Uh, Ash Blossom is going to be relevant for Painful Choice, which we now know that Hardleg has. I've got a Slip Rider, I've got a Good Witch, I've got two Wicked Witch, and then I've got a Shora, a Kalut, Double Gale the Whirlwind, a Gladius, a Harmatan, a Gofu, and a Mistral the Silver Shield, which can all be searched by Black Whirlwind. We're going to be opening this set a lot using the chaos coins we already have i need another black whirlwind i'd like another shora as well we've got a premature burial a graceful charity two heavy storm a pot of greed triple raigeki so if on the off chance we take this set we know what we will not have next time mystical space typhoon crackdown solemn strike two bad aim one compulse one jelly cannon one mirror force one phoenix wing wind blast i diversified my spell trap lineup i think i need a whole uh, suite of different types of removal in order to consistently beat things like eater of millions 
and fairy tale snow and powerful synchro monsters and untargetable guys all in the same deck and i think this does the best job given what we have in the extra we are on psychic life transfer orient dragon desert locust balmung shark fortress castell leviathan dragon agave sweet pickup berserker bellcat fighter Christron Halka Fibrax, uh, this proxy F magician that we have yet to make, Barricade Borg Blocker and Gravity Controller. Some sick pickups, but none sicker than Beals of the Diabolic Dragons. This is going to be as hard for Hardleg to out as Samurai Destroyer was. It's just a little more difficult for us to make. I hope it comes up. In the side, we have a Despair from the Dark, uh, a Jag in the Spiritualist, and Outstanding Dog Marin. This is in case Hardleg is special summoning a lot, this is in case he's milling, and this is in case he's hand looping. We've also got a Herald of the Abyss for Untargetable Dinguses, Nobleman of Extermination if he is pulled like a third torrential tribute system down if he's on machines double book of moon a malice dispersion if he's on floodgates triple macro cosmos a seven tools of the bandit a there can be only one and a goes and match just some generally good floodgates that we picked up so not super confident that we are going to win this week but we very much could using our extremely busted spell and trap lineup if that happens it's likely hard leg is going to ban raigeki and our engines are not going to be any worse for wear because of it still have the gofu plan still have the goki and the total awesome one in the tank as well excited to see what's going to happen next week and hopeful that we'll be able to take the set this week all right ladies and gentlemen i spent some time looking at my cards i did not consult chat this time and here is what i came up with it's a 44 card deck but essentially you could think of it as a 41 card deck and then i had to play i had to play three things just because they were funny Obelisk the Tormentor, Goddess of Sweet Revenge, and Fiber Jar. If I can resolve any one of these three, I will consider it a moral victory on my part. I don't care if I actually win, if I can get those off. I mean, we're early enough in the series, you know, there'll be time to try hard. For now, I want to see if I can summon an Egyptian god, because I think I have a pretty good chance. As for the rest of the deck, it essentially breaks down into three main components. The first is, of course, the sub-terror engine. We got the three Guru, the one Fiendus, the one Umastrix, very stripped down, but it represents a negate and a banish. And those are really powerful in this limited format. Hopefully that'll be able to stop whatever MBT can possibly build. After that, we just got all the monsters that special summon themselves. We've got big, huge beat sticks. We've got some more uh, smaller things that are going to be able to, like, work as material to make our Ixies and our Lynx. Things like Destrudo, things like, um... I guess Fairy Tail Snow is kind of a special summon monster once it gets into the grave. And we have a few ways to get into the grave. That's why we're playing the Tribe Infecting Virus, the three Yuna Zombies, stuff like that which I guess kind of represent the, the third wing of this deck, which is just staple cards. Tribe Infectoring, it, it's a board wipe. This is an out to just about anything I could run into. We're playing Skill Drain because it actually works well with these BE Blasters. If we can get these huge behemoths or even obelisk on, on the field, then um, being able to Skill Drain them and just have big, huge beaters with no downsides, pretty strong. We've also got the one Jinzo. Because we have so many special summoned monsters, we can play a lot of, or not a lot of, but some of these more tribute-centered things. And even stuff like Great Maju Garzet coming back. Like, the fact that I can special summon this, normal summon Garzet, and then have a 5,000 attacker might be able to get in for just a surprise game. A same thing with a Mono Iwato, oddly enough. Like, I can special summon the Blaster Core, normal summon I Iwato, and then, if, if you're unfamiliar with this thing, every time it attacks, it has to remove a counter. It starts with three, and if you remove all the counters, then it, it, it just destroys itself. So it's a limited boss monster. But if I can get this and Iwato, then it negates the effects of non-spirit monsters, so this can attack without having to remove any of its counters. And that's the same thing with Skill Train. Uh, we've got a lot of strong traps, but I, I ended up paring it down pretty small, because again, we know that MBT has a whole lot of spell trap removal. I don't want to rely on the spell traps. I want to rely mostly on the powerful monsters. Things that are going to f either be able to make big powerful bosses that will bait out his spell traps. Or just things that will come back. Things that it doesn't matter if he destroys or gets rid of. And of course if he clears the field there's there's always this. That'll, that, that'll be fun. <laughs> Um, as for the extra deck, we're actually not playing the Vision Hero Trinity. 
I made a big deal in pack opening. I'm not sure if it made the cut, but uh, we had Metamorphosis and we had this level 8, so we could potentially make Vision Hero Trinity off of that. But uh, Trinity has to be fusion summoned to get its effects. So we'd actually just be lowering this attack by, by 200. It, it wouldn't work, sadly. But, you know, there's always a chance we can come back, find another use for that later. Um, as for the side deck, we've got Lava Golem to take care of any any monsters that are going to be difficult. Things like, like Samurai Destroyer. Samurai Destroyer is obviously gone, but if MBT has anything similar to that, we can get rid of it. We can steal it with Gradle Eagle. I'm not sure if searching is going to be a thing, but if it is, we have this. If MBT has hand traps of his own, we've got Called by the Grave. We're still playing a little bit of Graveyard Hate. Um, I was originally putting the, the DD Crows in here, but I decided against them because I don't think he's on the zombie deck yet, and nothing nothing I've seen from him shows any graveyard support. Um, we've also got the, the Paleozoics, more banishing, more destruction. Um, we're playing the Vanities and the Royal, Royal Oppression in the side deck because these could screw me over, and if he has even more um, spell trap destruction, we might want to, like, side out our traps and just put in, like, all monsters and spells and just make that useless either that or we could put in magic jammers which um are pretty much our only out to things like heavy storm things like i don't know if he has a raigeki or a dark hole or whatever but these can potentially stop it granted it takes a discard and unless we've got snow or trick clown we're not going to really be able to plus off that discard yet but i think as the game goes on these will be more useful so there's the strategy not the most powerful, but I think MBT is really focusing too much on boss monsters, on trying to build stuff up. And I think we can outswarm him with just these powerful main deck monsters, not really give him a chance to build anything. At least that's my hope. Let's see how it turns out. Alright, here we are. We're out of the duel zone. We're into... We really need to come up to a name for this. The Fool and, and Zone. The Fool Zone. Yes, now that we have our decks together, we can make a fool out of MBT. The Dual Bone. Our decks will make vicious love to each other. <laughs> I hope and I'll not. be going first. <laughs> My bussy is not prepared for lovemaking of this do, caliber. Do not say that. <laughs> <laughs> Who taught you that word, hard leg? <laughs> You're like 52 years old. All right, we're going to begin I, with I the have Blackwing. the Twitters. All right, I am I am still on Blackwing. We're going to go Harmanted in the Dust. We're going to Black Whirlwind, and I'm going to add Gofu to hand. Gotcha. All right, uh, I'm going to set one card, and you, my friend, are good to go. Sounds good. And uh, just to be sure, you are, you are recording audio on your end, right? I should have checked beforehand. Yes. Okay, good. Because if not, this would be really awkward. Um, I'm going to go ahead and activate a painful choice. Uh, let's see here. I feel like I just what lost. Do I, uh, I don't have a lot of great stuff to send. So, hmm. Decisions, decisions. Man, this really is painful. They, it's, it's painful to me that lying. you are resolving this card and taking so long to be like, how do I win? Oh, yes, this way or this way or this way. Hmm. How do I win one of these things? Uh, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and choose that one. There you go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Well, the good news is you can't trigger both trick clowns. So those two will True. definitely be uh, remaining in the grave. Interesting. See, I would have thought you would give me one of the trick clouds because it's useless in hand. Now you can still normal it. Uh, I think the pick is Destrudo. So I will be giving you that. Okay. Whatever you want, baby. Do I want to activate that? Hell yeah. All right. Trick my clown. Let's clown. Let's clown. It's clown time. Um, the question is, which of the many ways do I want to go with this? I think what I want to do... Okay, I'm going to... A normal summon Fairy Tail Snow. Not super thrilled about this. Uh, go ahead and flip right that you. face down. Yep. Just while you're at it. And I think, because you mentioned Raigeki earlier... 
Let's go ahead and summon one of these, shall we? Light Dragon Atagnister. Okay. Uh, who? That is a thinker. A very solid rank four. Detach a material, destroy and... face-up monsters. Your opponent controls up to the number of Atagnisters. That's one. Okay, I I get this. It's just like a bad Dingirsu. Yeah. Um, oh, actually, okay, this is going to be a little risky, but let's go ahead and do this. We're going to discard Fairy Tail Snow. Sorry, is that the special second summon. one? <laughs> I, I have many. Oh, God. You're about to get really advanced on me, because I'm going to pay half my life points to summon Destrudo, the Lost Dragon's Frisian. No response to this. Uh, where are we going with this, buddy? Are you going to make a samurai destroyer of your own? Uh, no, I am actually, see, you didn't, you, you were so prepared for the, uh, the sub-terrors, you weren't prepared for me to be playing at Ignisters. <laughs> yeah, what, what is going on here exactly? <laughs> Once per turn, I can target spell traps equal to the number of at Ignisters I control and destroy them, and because I have two, that gets rid of all your back row, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Unfortunate, um... Now you will have to choose. Do you want your light dragon back or for me to keep my black whirlwind? Okay. I think that's oh. a pretty easy choice. I, I I suppose it is. They both have 23. There we go. Okay, I'll take uh, just... zero here and then 23. There we go. I took, it cost me just about everything, but hmm. I feel like this is, this is a pretty good setup. It's okay. And I'm gonna set I'm gonna set a back row as well. Okay, how do we want to do this? Okay, first things first, let's uh, MST the back row that I drew off the top of my deck. You're playing the MST now, when you have all the heavy storms. Yeah. Alright. Um Hmm and it seemed as if oh, it worked in my favor. Oh, okay. Um, no, I think we're good. All right. Uh, next up, big surprise here. It's Gofu time. Gofu? All right. The so, vague uh, shadow. We're going to use Gofu to get a couple of tokens to our side of the field. Uh, let me think about that. I can do something about that. I'm not sure if it would be worth it. No, I don't think it would be. Okay. You gonna banish your entire field and graveyard to snow here? <laughs> I was considering it. I bet you were. All right, uh, we are going to go for a Halka Fibrax, surprising no one, and true the of effect. Of course. All right, uh, we're um, thinking about this one. Think all you want. It won't make your dick any bigger. <laughs> I hope it will. <laughs> what? And what? I've been lied to and cheated. Hmm. The author of The Secret will pay for this. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that uh, book series and motivational... It's very silly. I had family members who were super interested into it, though. They really thought they were going to get The Secret, huh? Yeah, they they really thought it's just called the secret, and it and then you 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 buy the book and you buy the tape, and it's like so the secret to success is to want things. If you focus on goals and really want them, the universe will provide. I'm like you're literally just selling hope. Like <laughs> you're selling hope as if it's some kind of secret. Um. Okay. Where do I so you go? You can make from what? Here? A level four? Get an armory arm? Equip it to Alka Fibrax? I'm gonna go Gale the Whirlwind. We'll trigger Black Whirlwind. I think I had a way to do a really funny play, but I'm glad I didn't because it was quite bad in retrospect. Well, you can make a Link Four if you want. Gladius <coughs> here. If the only face up is one Black Wing, okay. Well, you've passed that. We're gonna. Down the uh, Adagnister here. Unfortunate. I don't know exactly what new stuff you had. Last time, the biggest thing you had was the fucking 
10 ye master. I think I did this wrong. Wait. Oh, good. But yeah, if you have the 10 ye guy, it's... I mean, he's he's a 3,000 beater. He's a big boy. I am not sure he's worth it, though. Hmm. All right, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> I'm waiting, Joseph. I know, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm not used to having to do this. You said, here's what we're going to do. I thought you had made a decision. I should have halved your win, Pegasus, I think. As is, I may Probably. have fucked myself. I mean, either way, they both have 23. I don't see how it would make that much of a difference unless you have something that specifically helps you against wind monsters over light ones. Alright, I'm gonna go... Uh, I'm just gonna go Berserker of the Tenyi here. Haha! I knew it! Uh, we'll go to combat. Uh, I guess I'll attack the light dragon. Okay. That's strange. Why would you do it that? It can't protect itself from battle. Oh, it can't! Oh, I should have read the card. I should have read the card. Fuck, that puts me in a bad position. Um. Welp, yes, I guess I'm going to go ahead and activate this. Oh, it's a pop. <coughs> my, uh, my Berserker of the Tenyi. Yep, just shuffle it back. <laughs> uh, second main, uh, you're good to go, buddy. This has been okay. a bad game all around, I would say. Uh, we're very stupid here on this show. Uh, neither of us this... have ever read a card in our life. Discount Badness Warehouse. Um, okay. Well, I guess I'm going to do one of these. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Ooh. Throat not feeling so good all of a sudden. Don't know why. Would you say that you are choking? <laughs> oh. Possibly. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know the feeling. Uh, okay. Let's get that out. You and um, tuck one of my bad boys. Yeah, sure. Why not? I appreciate that. All right, and then I am going to normal summon Great oh Maju Garson. <laughs> this is wow. This is a man. This, this is, is a big, big boy. Man. Show me the Kalut. Nope, okay. Nah, I wish. Oh, could you imagine? Well, the Kalut wouldn't do anything. He's got 13. 37. Now, of course, if you have any removal, I'm pretty sure I'm dead here. Okay, I do have removal. Of course, should have known it. Uh, I'm going to flip summon Gale. We're going to special summon Gladius the Midnight Sun. Because all you control is the one black, yeah. Uh, 3350 is what I have to get to. Ugh, I don't think I can do that. I'm very close. Uh, I am going to... This is my entire hand. Gotta commit. I know. <laughs> I know. I still think I have... No, I don't. I really need to top deck something good here. Alright, I mean, let's just go for it. Uh, Cosmo Sliprider. <laughs> Attack now, my big minion. Big Chungo. All right, this was a bad game all around. Um, Wait, I thought you said you didn't have game. <laughs> uh, I thought so too, and then I realized that monsters can attack to deal points of damage to your opponent's life points. <laughs> Has this always been how Yu-Gi-Oh operated? I this is news to me for for sure. Yeah, there's. Uh, I misplayed that. So if I had, <laughs> granted, we both misplayed that because we both yeah. thought that. Um, yep. We, we played that one pretty poorly, himself. I would say. All right, <laughs> chat, here's what I need. Comments. It, I need all of you to post in the comments and say some shit like, wow, uh, the screen just blacked out for the first 20 minutes there. I have no idea what happened. But game two <laughs> and game three were really something special, Joe and Joe. They were, they were just amazing. These two Joes, I can't, I can't get past them. We're just two um, Joes. Just hanging out. Uh, just having a good time. I don't think I really want to change anything. I was pretty happy with how that turned out for the most part. I <laughs> Until just, you weren't. <laughs> I just, I again, I, I read, the, like, if this card would be destroyed. See, that's the thing, right? It, it's not that we don't read the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It's that I read them, like, a month ago. Mm -hmm. And then I thought I knew what it was. 
And no, it turns out I was mistaken. Okay, I'm going to go second here. Oh, you're making me go first. That is interesting. Yes. All right, let's try this. Go ahead. All right. Well, as long as you don't draw mm. a painful choice, I'm feeling pretty good about it. No, no painful choice this time. Uh, in fact, I think I'm just going to set a card and end my turn. Huh, that is not what I wanted to see. Um, keep going, buddy. Keep going. <laughs> oh, okay. Sounds good. I'll just flip up my guru. Ah. Yeah, see, that's a problem. Oh, no negation. Let's go no take negation. the this. Yep. A single negate. Um, and what do I want to do from here? I know you've got the punch in the box. Whoa, hey, buddy. No, no, no. Be cool. It could but be I can anything. Negate, I can negate the punch in the box. Exactly. See? Um, you know what? Just in case you've got Battle Fader or something, we'll go ahead and summon a Mono Iwata. A Mono Iwata. Dog, that is the most... I am fuming. Why are you playing this card? <laughs> uh, I have my reasons. None of them are in my hand, here. unfortunately. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess that activate... Oh, I can't activate my own monster effects because a mono was on the field. I was gonna say. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I baited out I baited out a negation. Of course. Uh, we're good. We're good. I don't need to exist. Hmm. <laughs> All right, well, let's see you negate this, asshole. I cannot. Fuck. Welp. Touche, salesman. You've been thrashed! <laughs> I have been. Uh, damn. Uh, let me read what this does. Thrasher? Nothing. <laughs> it's it's the worst cyber dragon you've ever read. But it is four stars. Isn't that funny that Sydra is cheeks, but this card that is Hello objectively there. worse is great because it's four? <laughs> Just because it's level four. Sathana. Um, sure. Let's go ahead and normal summon this. No problem. I believe I can... Flip itself face down. I believe you can as well. To special summon... Yeah, from the graveyard. Um... Ooh, you got another target? Attack mode. Hmm. Yeah, and I think... The proper goal here is to just go into my good old friend at Ignister. Damn. Sure. Uh, I will crack down here. Unfortunate. Hmm. Touche, then. <laughs> At okay. least you can't attack with it or activate its effects. Although you can link with it. And I can use it as material for a tribute summon. Very much so. All right, so this isn't I have super no sexy. Back row. Uh, there's yeah, no back row. Yeah, because now you can only attack with that one. Yeah, I can only attack with the Slip Rider, but, eh, you know, could be much worse. Yep. Um, hmm. What would this do? This would take all of my cunning, most of it. <laughs> Shit. You're not really, like, using it, though, right? I don't think you really care too much about your cunning. Yeah, there we go. We'll just set that. Uh, oh, that's an interesting draw. Hmm. Set one pass. What other set monsters am I playing? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. <laughs> mm. Evil laugh. I'll just go for it again. Fuck it. If you want to gradle me, you can gradle me all goddamn day. Nope. It's, this is the same card. Har yep. Hard leg. This you. There's Umastrix. That's annoying, yes. but also kind of clumpy. Wait, Umastrix. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Hold up. Since when do you have good cards? That's not fair. I just, I just got one. It was the, it's the, the best behemoth. Oh uh, yeah, sure. by a lot. 
All right, no big. It'd no be big it'd be awesome. It'd be much better if I had a way to summon it. All right, that's not too bad. Although it doesn't get me what I want to get. Unfortunately, that slip rider is just a big problem because it can't. He is can't a really jerk destroy off. it without doing some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark hole me, buddy. I don't want to dark hole you. I'm not into that whole dark hole lifestyle. Are you? What the what fuck? This, this Are you machine? being cosmophobic against me right now? Possibly. Just a little bit. Jeez. Everyone's a little cosmophobic. First, they just don't I am. Want to admit it. First, I am maligned for being bisexual. Then, I am maligned for being a gamer. And now, I am being maligned for playing Cosmo, the three most oppressed identities in America. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, fuck it. Go ahead. Are you are you ready to laugh? I'm ready to are laugh. Are you ready to laugh? Oh, I'm ready. So most most of my deck is is made up of good cards, cards that I I was happy to play. Yeah. But there was uh, there was three cards I pulled that the chat was like, you have to play these. Hard leg. So I did. And this is one of them. Hard leg. <laughs> what the did I tell you about <laughs> listening to chat? <laughs> Dude, do you have any idea how hype it would be if I could summon Obelisk the Tormentor? Oh, I bet they told you that too. Do you know how hype it would be if you won a game? <laughs> oh, uh, yes. Great beast also, of the sky, I'm hear my just... cry. Yeah. Great stick of the sand. Let's do it, man. <laughs> I'm always saying that. Uh, Yeah, let's see... I, I thought Umastrix was a six star, and I made a grave it is miscalculation. A seven star. Yep. He's a big boy. He's too big, unfortunately. All right, well, we're going to normal summon this. Okay, we're making plays. Oh, I'm, am I about to... to see the whites? No, not yet. Ah, uh, boo. All right, just make I'm your. I'm going to discard the Umastrix. Sure. If nothing else, uh, it's good I'm... as fodder. 2300. Goddamn slip strider. All right. <laughs> so We're doing it again. Oh my god. Let me send another Unizombie. Yep. Level 8, baby. Um. Behold, Draco Berserker of Tenyi. This is a good card. Yeah. Um, It can't attack because only zombies can attack the turn you use both of its effects. Right. But, um, you know, it's there. Ah, right on time. Hard leg, this game is going to be it, a little it, reminiscent. time. game is going to be just a little bit reminiscent of some, uh, some games you may have experienced in the past. It's going to oh. remind you of uh, your roots and take you back to Duel Monsters. I'll begin this turn with a Pot of Greed. Oh, okay. Ah. That's not too big. That's just more cards. The cards are only as good as the cards you draw. I drew some very good cards. Uh, one of the cards on the that I did not drew was Raigeki. Uh, I've had that for a while now. Yep. Unfortunately, mm. if I commit to anything, that's just what's going to happen. Okay, I'm sick of not doing damage. I'm going to normal summon Gale the Whirlwind. Okay. And how... What, do you got a level 7 now? Yeah, I'm going to go into Psychic Life Trancer. <laughs> <laughs> Again, not pretty, but it is a monster. Oh, hey, you can gain life points. Isn't that exciting? No. Very much no. All right. I really wish I had any of my good graveyard cards. That would be nice. Back to you, Buckaroo. Any of my special summons. Um... <laughs> Buddy, this is not what I wanted you. Why are you here? Go... <laughs> Oh, boy. Okay. What do we want to do here? Well, yeah, unfortunately. Woo! Dryden time, baby. Yep. I had so much potential. And now I'm just popping psychic life traits. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually why Dryden got banned, is it drastically improves your psychic life transfer matchup. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, a fucking spell trap. Oh, that would have been a really <laughs> stinky one. That would have been uh, a really stinky one. That would have that would have really helped my zero attack Dryden. I tell you what. All right, let's uh, set a card, go to combat, and just get over it. 
Okay. Off you go. Unfortunately, you did your job. could not win the game here. Oh, thank the Lord. Shit! Whoa! When the hard choice leg, is hard painful. Leg. Hold up, baby. Let's let's talk about this. <laughs> There's nothing to talk about, Chief. Oh, I'm man. going. I think I know. I think I have the five. I, I, this time, I didn't draw any of them. Oh God! You're going to be able to get two snow activations. <laughs> okay. Uh... All the snows in Discount Snow Warehouse. Same deal. Same deal. I am paying a lot of life points. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get this. Ouch. Um. <sighs> what do we want to do? I think I could do this. Okay. It's it's unfortunate to waste this because this would have been nice to pull out on something that no. didn't have okay. monster floating. I'm in. Um Just Choose the Destrudo. Well you're not getting that trick clown back, I'll tell you that. No. I hope not. Um And then let's go ahead and fairy tale snow, baby. Hmm. That's Out of the graveyard, into the light. Sure. Three, four, five, six, uh, seven. Let's go ahead and get this. Uh, no, I don't think I want to flip you face down. I think I want to get all the the damage. All right, so I know you've got the Raigeki, but fortunately, I have the IP Mascarena. <laughs> oh, how do I beat this card? Oh, shit. And let's go ahead into Topological Bomber Dragon. There he is. He's a big boy. He's a big boy with big toys, and he's going to hit you for 3,000. Okay. And then 2300. I forgot he did that. <laughs> oh yeah, he's a he's a burner. Uh I'm going to grab Wicked Witch. Sure you don't want to summon that in that middle column <laughs> just right uh, in front I'm, of him? I'm quite sure in fact. Just have okay. Um Yeah, we're good. Don't like that. It took it took everything. My my love, my hatred, and all of my life points, but I did it. Hmm. Also, I, I like his his artwork is just so cool. The infinity tail and everything. I don't know what the fuck the rest of him is. He's like some sort of robot dragon with scissors for shoulders. He's holding a spiral. I don't know, but moi. Oh, man. This is so fucking crusty. Okay. Unless you've got, like, a gale. Scapegoat. Scapegoat. Um. Yeah, sure. Okay, we're gonna go here and here. Oh, you're just gonna summon the two? Uh, you know what? I think I am good. I think I am good with just the two. Anyway. I was I was really hoping you would forget and mm. just be like, I get all my to I get all the tokens. All right, let's go into Hauk here. Okay. I'll fire it. I will grab Gale the Whirlwind. Okay. I am going to go ahead and have to activate Fairy Tale Snow here. Sure. No response. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's keep that, actually. Six, seven. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, let's do that. Do I want to activate another one? No, thanks. I'm good. I'll summon this. We'll activate this to flip your Wicked Witch face down. Uh, and I think the way this works, I am just generally fucked. 
I'm right. not sure how it works. If you activate it, does it linger even when it's face down? Well, uh, the difference between me finding it out and not is me losing two top logic bomber or not. So I'm not going to find it out. Sure. Oh, it doesn't get rid of... I thought it destroyed everything on the field. It's just the main monster zones. Okay. Just the main monster zones. Oh, you've got the material to do it again if you have to. Hmm. If I have to, it ain't easy. Because you do still have your normal summon, I'm aware. That's why I didn't want to do that, but I couldn't have you having his attack. Because that's like one of the few ways you have to get over him really easily. Uh, oh, this is a hard one. This is a tough one. It's a toughie. I'm going to normal Gladius the Midnight Sun. Uh, okay. We'll go Berserker. Berserker. Do you like to making fuck Berserker? <laughs> I think I just have to sit on him. <laughs> ah, that's so shitty. Ah, it's so shitty. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Just pass. Um... Okay. The one thing I have to fear is fear itself. You must and, choose. And your, and your one back row. Will you make the ultimate sacrifice? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, you know what? We're going to go big or we're going to go home. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? Let's this. Not my monster zone. Graveyard, graveyard, graveyard. Hopefully I can draw my Gren Maju to Isa. I do lose to that immediately. Um, put it over here. <laughs> yeah, I was like, the no, no, no. The one place I can. I almost forgot that you had upwards facing arrows. Be cool, buddy. You, you should summon another monster. Oh, you did. <laughs> that is not what I was And expecting. it's bigger than 3,000. But is it bigger than Mirror Force? No. No, it's not. Well, I tried. Okay. You had the, what, you only have one Mirror Force, right? I only have the one Mirror Force, but I do have the okay. two Wicked Witches. To combat, my friends. Waka! But I can't be destroyed by battle. Yes, you can. Fuck! <laughs> it's like, wait. Yes, you you totally can. You can! You friggin' can! <sighs> Woo! I went too and hard and got can. punished by the back row. Not really. Uh... I had forgotten all about uh, Mascarena. Jesus. <laughs> That was, um, these were some bad games. I thought we were going to be able to show off, like, some sick combos. I just played <laughs> Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh. I normal summoned Gemini Elf to win the game a couple of games in a row. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I honestly can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not. I thought these were pretty good. We I had some fun big playing, combos though. and big plays. We did some cool stuff. I feel bad because I definitely did have some cool synchro plays I didn't get to show off. And I feel bad because I didn't show off one of the most powerful cards in the entire format, which I pulled. And I feel like preventing you from having that knowledge is going to irrevocably fuck up the next episode. <laughs> Possibly. I mean, we, we I, I was still planning to do a bonus duel. We always got to give the people three duels. Oh, yeah. We've been here for three hours or whatever. Oh, I'm ready. There's a whenever. chance you could still bring it out, but... Winker, go ahead and put up that coin. MBT now has three coins. Three packs you can redo if you want. Rain. Although I'll get to pick something else. The question is, what do I fucking ban? I mean, Raigeki seems like a good choice just because you I have I do have three, three Raigeki. <laughs> but they don't do anything if I can get out the Masquerade combo. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a pickle to be in for sure. Uh, this is what I feared, is that one ban per episode means that now you have to be like, okay, the guy's got three Raigeki, of course. 
He's also got yeah. two Heavy Storm. He's got Pot of Greed. He's got Graceful Charity. He's got Gofu. He's got Snow. He's got every Blackwing in the universe and some uh, extra spe special stuff that you haven't been made privy to yet. So what's yeah. the hit, buddy? Well, the, the, the interesting thing is talking with my the people on my Discord, there were a lot of people who were like, Gofu and Hauk need to be banned. And I, th I think they're just, they're, they're too brained on, like, the actual meta because... Yeah, in a card game where you can pick any boss monster, those are absolutely terrifying. In in a limited format where the best you can make with Hauk is Berserker of Tenyi, and I also have a Raigeki and a Dark Hole and two Torrentials, I'm not really all that scared of it. The best I, think I can make is Berserker of the Tenyi, but I do think they are right to be afraid of a scenario in which I pull one playable Link monster and suddenly <laughs> every game becomes unwinnable for you. Potentially, but I, I still think like, I feel like the the better route is to ban the the the, the boss monsters rather than the enablers, and because I you'll find you other ways so. to get into those boss monsters. As I've just shown, I mean, I made a link four without having to use any. All I needed was a painful decision. <laughs> anyway, let's let's go ahead into the bonus duel real quick. Okay, here we go. Third bonus duel. Maybe this will help me decide. This will give me a better view of your deck and what you can and can't do. Making me go first again. Have you learned nothing, hard leg? I've I've built my deck around going second. Also, I'm going to activate Pot of Greed! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two cards. This um, card allows me to make an unfunny joke on reddit.com. As all cards do. Um... Yo, what up? Hey. Yeah, I pulled a Cyber Dragon out of the out of Cyber whatever the the actual set was. Oh wow, it's a it's like a it's actually not hard to pull if I remember correctly. It's a super in the pack. Oh, I thought it in, in the in all eleven episodes of the first season, me and Duologs never saw one. That makes sense. I mean, supers are hard to pull uh, even back um, then. Um, let's see. I'm trying to remember how does the damage step work? <laughs> if Excuse if it's at the start of the damage step, is that before or after I flip your monster face up? Uh that would be before. Okay. Oh, but you're not you thinking of that... eating my millions, are you? You do have mirror force, you do have punch in the box. You have so many strong traps that punishes me for going big. So, I'm just going to keep things small. I'm just going to attack for 2100 and see what happens. Alright, I'm going to crack down your fucking Cyber Dragon. I know, it sounds terrible. <laughs> but I want him. I love this card. It's not that terrible. We're going to set a few and then end our turn. Alright. Well, that's a decent one. I will flip summon Scape Ghost. Rude. You're a rude, crude dude, and I'm not liking your attitude. How come you always get to resolve your flip monsters, and I never get to save mine? Mm -hmm. I'm playing removal. The problem is all my tra my best traps like torrential tribute, so if I torrential you to stop you from destroying the flip monster, I just die. So there's a 100% chance that set card is a torrential tribute, right? If I go into Halka Fibrax into a long combo line, you just kill me. Uh, with the torrential tribute, in fact. I mean, there's like a 90% chance it's Torrential Tribute, but there's always hope. So instead, we'll go for a believe. card that can't be Torrential. The oh. new star of my deck. Beals of the Diabolic Dragons. Ah, very powerful. That's a strong card you have there, Joseph. Be a shame if someone banished it. Yeah, that would be a, that would be a, a real big issue for me personally. <laughs> Uh, well, this was a good game. I had a joke. fun one. I had a, I had a fun, uh, I had a fun, good game. <sighs> yeah. And I'm just realizing that was actually the, 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 the less superior play I could have done. How could you have done a play better than that? Oh, <laughs> I see. Yeah. Why? Granted, you've got all the back row destruction. So, and the gradles are like. Huh. Actually, when this leaves the field, destroy the equipped monster. 
I am so, literally never going to play another monster. He he does not. I, I'm just curious because it's like he he wouldn't be destroyed by that, right? He can't be destroyed, but it doesn't say Ooh, give control of question. it back. <laughs> that is a good question. Like, does he just stay on my side if you destroy the Great Eagle? I don't think that's true, but it would be very funny if it was. Oh, okay. That seems cool. Cold as ice, willing to sacrifice my bird. Yeah. I will literally let you do this until I have zero life points. <laughs> Just, just, uh, just afraid of an eagle. It's just a little eagle there, buddy. Oh, this. Okay. You're fucked. This card will really ruin your day. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I better do something about that. Uh, let's see here. Let's take that and that and that, and I'm definitely taking those two. Oh wait. Oh, yeah, that's... Okay. Now I'm going to eater your millions. Okay. Hopefully. Uh, put him put him in the pizza, please. <laughs> in the pizza? Uh, put him in the pizza. Can you please, uh, put him in the pizza? Yeah, sure. Dinomiscus! Do with the dinomiscus. Okay, what do you got here? What's Behold, my Mistral, the Silver Shield. This impenetrable shield blocks my life points for your every attack. Did you not learn your lesson, old man? <laughs> um. Fuck, what do I do from here? It is really a shame to just not, not use this Dinomiscus for anything. But I can't really... Four, five, six... Oh, wait. Okay. We're gonna activate one time passcode. Oh, that is a that is a card. We're gonna normal summon this. Wow. And we'll make Draco Berserker of the Tenny. Using the three of them. Sure. Eight stars. What the hell is this thing? Oh yeah. And then I'll summon Destrudo by using Draco Berserker and <laughs> link it away to make and there's the Raigeki. And there's, yeah, I think... I no, think no, I come on, baby! No, 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 it could have been anything! <laughs> think I have to ban the Raigeki. <laughs> no, no, I, um, on, I only have three of them, all right? The, the, <laughs> I only have three of them. Dang, Kaiba packs. B-E-S, penis core. Yep. This is why I play the skill drain, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Skill Drain is fun with this. Amano Iwato is also fun with this because it's effect to remove a counter won't activate. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> this card's kind of an asshole. Yeah, just bigger Cyber Dragon, but it only lasts for three turns. I will not commit oh. a monster to the board. You cannot make me. Um, This has always been such a high roll every time I did it, but I gotta try. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this thing! <laughs> uh, why are you still playing this card? This card will be your demise, and for now it'll be back in your fucking hand. Uh, yep. I just have so many cards that are like, you can special summon this, and it has high attack, but nothing else. Or has high attack, but some downside. And I'm like, well, I could just attribute it and have double the attack and no downside. Big Dongus Yu-Gi-Oh incoming. I don't, I don't even really want to commit anything else to the board. Go go ahead. I literally <laughs> will not play a monster. You can't make me do it. Two can play at that game. <laughs> Shit! You figured out the... Oh, there we go. Okay, time for the meta breaker. Think that I'm invisible. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, Holy oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. oh, yeah. Oh, buddy. You're going to get crunked uh, on. You're going to get punked on. You're going to get big problem. on. So, the, I, I, I opened specifically a pack that um, that had, like, Heavy Storm and MST in it. Yeah. I went for the... Uh, oh, what's it called? Battle Pack 1. Yep. I was like, I just need some back row removal. All I got is fucking Nobleman of Extermination, and I've only got one of them. Uh, you have gotten my bad aim, and I will be popping- OH! 
I can't pop your nobleman! Shit! <laughs> Wait, no! Other than that card. <laughs> no, <laughs> shit, what? All right. I well, love that this nobleman is a twin twister. It's become Heavy Storm. It's it's fine. I didn't need the Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Ooh, maybe I did. Bunny Blast! Maybe I did. Um... Yeah. We'll just blast your life points for 800. We making a Zeus here? And then for the disrespect, I'll just... <laughs> could you imagine if we had Zeus in this format? I guess technically we could, because we, we've ruled that for the bonus packs, you could pick anything as long as it has nine cards or less. Hmm. So you could pull the newer sets. All right, let's just uh, get this okay. one out of the way, buddy. Uh, okay. Okay. Last in your bunny. All right, go ahead. And I will tribute my great Maju Garza to have zero attack. Hell yes. That's the play for sure. What's double of zero? Uh... <laughs> this is going well. This is going very well. I'm glad we played this third duel. We needed excitement, and it's so weird how, like, you know, we, you can look at those first two and talk about how fast they went, and then we get to this duel, and it's like, this is the opposite. This is All pain. Right. True pain. True pain. Yo, what up? Sure. I'm playing a BES deck. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm a little upset about it, I'm not gonna lie. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit upset. Um, let me go ahead while we're at it. Whoa. Hold up there, Buckaroo. Bring Holy back the Draco shit. Berserker of Tenyi. Oh, my God. Uh, have I normal summoned? You normal the Wait, Great Maju This Garza. has an effect in the graveyard? Oh, it's a dumb effect in the graveyard. But I guess, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Now, if you have Honest, you would tell me, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah. I, I think I would. It would just be impressive. Wow. Oh, there we go. That will, I guess I should have committed, committed a monster to the board. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. The great Machu Carson. He did the things. You can Thank finally you, take BBS. him out. He can retire did victorious. <laughs> what? I, I, I got a... What? What was in your hand that, like, were you just trying to, uh, to not run into the dark hole you knew I had, or what? Uh, it was Protoss, Bigfoot, Ash Blossom, uh, <laughs> and Heavy Storm. You're actually playing the, the Ash Blossom? Yeah, I was like, I'll Ash the Pot of Greed, and then I'll have the three for <laughs> Protoss, and then you never attempted to draw a card at any point during the game. I should have set this fucking card. Fuck, wait, you can Ash Blossom painful choice. I know, that's that's the theory. But in practice, uh, Ash Blossom is one card. Yeah, that's Ugh. the thing I noticed with, with fucking, like, D.D. Crow. It's like, there, you've got some stuff in your deck where if I hit it with D.D. Crow, it would be great. Oh, yeah. But nine times out of ten, it's just sitting in my hand doing nothing. Yep. Well, um, that was, uh, that was something, you know? I, I don't know something. if we created art here today, but uh, we definitely <laughs> created... Uh, a headache in my frontal lobe. Um, are you are you pretty dead set on your ban, or will you be uh, will you be putting it up, leaving it up to your genius level 180 IQ chat? Uh, I don't know. On the one hand, I think the chat the chat figured it out. Not the chat, but Discord figured it out last time. Plus, I, I think that's a good motivator for people to join the Patreon. Mm -hmm. If you genuinely want to help me, if you think you can. You could coach me and make me better. You gotta join the Patreon, buddy. Just one dollar a month, you get on the Discord. Then you can yell at me all you want. <laughs> Wait, uh, sorry. Are you whoring out the ability to tell you you're bad? Yes. How the fuck did I not think of that? Oh my <laughs> god. That is so smart. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, I'm smarter than I look, and I look pretty dumb. 
you know, uh, Hard Leg, these were some good games. I guess I would have to say that I, I think the determinative factor in my deck was Black Whirlwind. So if you're if you're uh, <laughs> if your individuals could uh, ban Black Whirlwind, I'd really appreciate it. I don't think there's just another get rid of it. Card. Just kill all the Black Wing decks. Clearly, the Gladius of the Blue Moon was just way too powerful for me to get over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the deciding thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, Mistral I'll, I'll the Silver up. Shield game winner. I'm going to assume last time I said Samurai Destroyer and the chat ended up, or the Discord ended up agreeing with me. Um, I'm going to say prepare to have Raigeki banned, but whoa. we'll see. Hey, whoa, be cool, dude. It's just it's just three Raigekis. What are the chances it's just I open three. it? The, the, the thing is, though, like, I, I just got a Raigeki this episode. Oh. And so it's like, this is the first time when I'm banning something that I also have just because you have more of it. <laughs> Are, okay, here's my hot take that I know that your chat will be like, he's trying to trick you for the, it is, if I were in your position, I would ban Halka Fibrax a hundred times out of a hundred. Hmm. But I also have the same brain worms that you are describing, where I think Possibly. that the TCG is the true format. Yeah, because I, I don't know, you, I mean, you do have the Beals, and now you can summon fucking Scapegoat off of that. <laughs> and if you have another 7 on board, then you could <laughs> make the Beals. It requires the Dark Tuner. I'm sure Hulk will get banned eventually. I don't know, I still kind of want to open Duolov too, and if I get a Hulk, then we each have one and it becomes equal. Uh, I don't know if it becomes... Yeah, We're equally bad as a matched. viewing experience, I guess I would say. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Some Someone was also saying that the DM staples were getting, like, too out of hand already. Which is funny, because before, people were saying there weren't enough, like, in the first couple episodes. I'm like, just give it time. I think when everything's broken, nothing is broken. Yeah, I agree. But uh, I, I, I was gonna, I did say to them, like, you know, if it becomes a problem, we could always just agree to go into traditional format and just limit all the DM staples to one. Oh. I, I think that would be a good compromise where you still get the hypeness of, like, pulling it, but you don't have to worry about three fucking Raigeki. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I don't think it's been a huge decider this time. But you can let us know in the in the, the, the comments. I do read the comments. I just don't listen to the ones that try to coach me. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, do that. And make sure you subscribe because we're still trying to get to 50,000. If we get there, this will become a weekly series. And you can see these episodes twice as fast, twice as much. And How subscribe to MBT while you're at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if we get to uh, 100K on my channel in the next two months, I'll delete it. So that's my promise to you. <laughs> Exciting. If you hate MBT, go subscribe right now. See, a lot of people that's are like, I have to get the people who like me to subscribe. I'm the opposite. I'm going to hold YouTube hostage. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing whatever I do until I get 100K. I just want that plaque. Yeah, me too. Give me the plaque. Give All me right. the plaque. But yeah, until next time, good luck. And please convince Hardleg using your hard-earned dollars to ban Black Whirlwind. Well, hi there, people. Welcome to the end of the video. This is where I, a goofy-voiced Hardleg, give shout-outs to all the patrons who donated $25 or more during the month of August. This channel's funded mostly through Patreon, so I really couldn't have made the show without the help of these fine folks. Their names are Davon Crushin, Tiberius Kane Moriarty, Yella, Yami, Ariane Zwares, 0-1503, Austin Glover, Chris W, Death's Dancer, Munchry, RPK96 Joestar, CD Games, Chris Kessler, Dancing Joker, Diotic, Myatt, Muffin Fiend, Nathan, Nirazard22, Night Fang, Penumbra Eterna, Kirvin Quintingent, Reaper X121 Death, Shodan Rider, Tayo no Kitsune, 3 do 9 and Trevor F. If you'd like to join them, have your name read off in a silly voice, there's a Patreon button on the screen right now. Go ahead and click it, check it out, see if there's anything there you'd enjoy. Just one dollar gets you into the Discord, and then you can criticize me to my face. Regardless, thanks for watching this far, and until next time, stay frosty, Legos.